Hey everybody, got a, another fun unboxing here. We're gonna get into some P, uh, PCC stuff. Guys, this is gonna be our unboxing and tabletop on the Palmetto State ARV 7 inch EPT PDW MOE. It's a real, real long name. It's the uh, ARV that looks like the MP5, as you'll see shortly. Guys, as always, go down below, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button if you would be so kind. Drop a comment with your thoughts, share us with your friends. I've got my buy me a coffee link in the description, and let's get into it. Let's get this thing cracked open here. So, basic cardboard box with the egg crate foam. You do get, of course, the all-important sticker. Eh, let's see here. Uh, you get a little bit of a coupon there off their dagger stuff. Uh, yeah, some sort of gun responsibility deal. You get the gun lock, the manual. You get one single uh, AKV style mag. So this is the uh, CZ Scorpion style, the AKV, the ARV. And then we get, of course, the firearm itself. So not too much on the unboxing side. Let me get this sucker zoomed in. All right, so starting from uh, starting from the muzzle and working our way back with this, uh, as you can tell, this is kind of the MP5 lookalike, and this may be as close to a uh, MP5 as some people will get, myself included. But they do give you a tri-lug front end, and then it does come with a thread protector, and underneath that is half by 28 threads. So you have the option to mount your quiet stick of choice there. As we move our way back, the handguard, of course, very MP5-esque. It is uh, all aluminum and it is free floated, but it's just a basic bare handguard uh, with a top Picatinny rail there. Of course, as we get into the receiver, we have our Picatinny rail, our standard mil-spec AR uh, style charging handle there. The stock, of course, does come, does come with the pistol brace there, and that is adjustable. If I can get my, uh, get my hands on it there, pressure button. It is only a two position. You basically have in and out, or I'm sorry, three position, in, middle, or all the way in, middle, and then all the way out. Coffee has, uh, has not kicked in today there. They do give you, on the back side here, a QD mount for mounting the sling of your choice. Of course, this is the uh, SB Tactical uh, PDW brace there. You do get a Magpul grip. Safety is a standard 90 degree safety there. We can see a, a little, bit of, uh, little bit of shine there on the trigger. It is polished up. Working our way over to the other side, I'm going to get this chamber flag out of here. You'll notice it does say ARV on the uh, on the bolt carrier, no dust cover, of course. Um, relatively simplistic design on these, uh, not a uh, not a whole ton to them, which is kind of nice. I really do like the look there. I will show you on the magazine if you are not familiar with the uh, AKV or ARV style. So locks in there and then your mag release is right there on the front portion of the trigger well. There we go. A little hard to do this upside down. Perfect. So locks in. Obviously mag release there does eject with relative ease. And then your bolt catch is here on the left-hand side, as you would expect it to be. It's just a simple uh, ridged, I guess, up-down style, um, button style. There we go. That's kind of what I was looking for. So just a simple push there, and you're good to go. So it does vary a little bit from Glock-based uh, AR9s, if you will. Uh, obviously, with the magazine, does give you some different options, uh, both with the Scorpion mags and the Palmetto mags, does make it a little bit easier. Not quite 
Glock mag easy, but still relatively easy to get a hold of them, and they are relatively reasonably priced, which inexpensive magazines are always nice. We'll work our way down to the trigger here, and this is the one that everybody seems to enjoy. So, trigger, we've got a little bit of take up there. Try it one more time. We've got a little bit of take up right there. We've got a firm wall and then a break. And then we have a yeah, decent size but audible reset. We're back on that wall. Just that hair of creep there. And break. So definitely very usable. Uh, not quite mill spec, but also not quite drop in. Kind of somewhere in the middle, improved mill spec. As always, I have got my handy dandy Lyman digital trigger gauge here, and we are gonna see what this trigger weighs out at. And actually, we are going to get this brace out of the way. All right, first pull, six pounds and 0.4 ounces. Second pull, five pounds, 8.4 ounces. And third pull, five pounds, 12 ounces. So we are somewhere between the five and a half pound and six pound mark on that. So not Fantastic, but also uh, also not bad either, and definitely a, a usable trigger with some good feel to it. We are going to, well, if I can get my tablecloth in the right place there, we're going to grab a weight on it as we have added that to our testing procedures. So we are zeroed out. So we are looking at... Five pounds, 9.67 ounces, give or take. And then magazine unloaded puts us five pounds, 13 ounces. So we are eh, high five, low six pound, probably once we get some uh, iron sights and we get some uh, ammunition in there as well. But it definitely feels solid. So obviously with this aluminum, the aluminum front end, and the uh, this whole thing is 7075 aluminum, um, has a good weight to it without being overly heavy. The only thing that I guess I wish I could improve, and this is more something for the ATF, is I wish we could get just a little bit more length of pull out of a pistol brace. Obviously not something we will see anytime soon, Contact your Congress people if you'd like to see that change as well. But all in all, decent, cool, uh, little package. These things are MSRP, I believe, is a little bit over $1,000, $1,060 if I remember correctly, but they usually end up having them on sale between the eight dollars to $900 range, just depending on the sale at the time and whatever holiday it is but should put you to your door around 1100 bucks and as always guys we are going to take this sucker out we are going to shoot it at the range put it through its paces see how it runs but i'm kind of excited i really do like the look I obviously can't afford an mp5 so this is kind of a uh, poor man's version if you will that appears to be quality we're looking forward to getting it out and shooting it guys as always i do appreciate your time watching this stay safe Train hard.